I gotta give my praise to Uda. He held out longer than I thought before he will finally go on a break next week. A funny cover chapter also, with uh, Dom, Dom Flamingo giving a flamingo his sunglasses, but still hiding his eyes between his fingers. We will never see those eyes, will we? If he even had anyone to begin with. But this is Sabo's adventure, a short flashback chapter that answers every single question on how Sabo survived. Well, not really how he survived, but how he is alive. First of all, the heroes, including Bellamy and Trafalgar Law, are sleeping in the Kuro's chamber. Strangely enough, Cavendish and Bartolomeo are not there. But uh, uh, as, the, as Frankie repairs his other eye, uh, they begin to wonder how come Luffy had another brother, he never mentioned it. And how could he? He thought that brother died when he was young. And technically he did. You all remember when he got shot by the world novels? Dragon did save him. Not confirmation on how he did though. Can that guy fly? I mean he was on the, out on the ocean. And and he did not. he apparently did not swim, or did he? Either way... Dragon must be very fast if he can save someone like that. But it was his veins on his face proved on how much Dragon despised the world novels. <sighs> Damn it. Uh, sorry, it's something in the background noise. But on the another note, when Sabu, they, uh, Sabu was the injured one and they took care of him. But when he awakened, it turned out that, yes, like everybody thought, and I suspected, Dragon. Nah. Sabu! had amnesia. He could, he could not even remember his brothers, but what he did remember was a strong desire to not returning home to the Gao Kingdom. For Dragon remembered Sabu as a, a royal and noble boy. All he remembered was he did not want to return to his parents. And as so Sabu stayed with the, the revolutionary, grew up there, became the second hand. We do not know how that happened, but either way, he never regained his memories and, uh, until two years ago, on the worst possible way for a person to regain his memories nonetheless. One simple day, we see, a, we see an office of the revolutionary also, it looks so cool. The, the news about the devastating came, they all, everybody wondered if Eva was alright. As Sabu hears Ace, uh, Fire Fist Ace, he checks the paper, sees Ace's picture, and every single member come back and he just collapsed in enormous amount of grief with a high fever and lies bedridden for three days until he awakens with Koala and Huck by their side. Koala is in tears, worried about Sabu and also wonders if he's gonna quit the revolutionary but Sabu assures her he will not. Which proves that he's very loyal to the revolutionary. This also shows that apparently Huck and Koala is Sabu's closest friends in the revolutionary because they have been in every single panel with him now. Then he began to talk to Dragon Sun. We do not know what it was, but it was very likely on trying to find the Mera Mera Manui. And then we switch into the scene when he reintroduced himself back to uh, Luthi. He recognized Luthi's uh, disguise and uh, as soon as uh, Luthi remembered when he said brothers, he practically had a huge face fault and a backflip, hugging his brother and crying rivers, as uh, Luffy hoped that uh, Sabo would get the fruit. And he did. He gives Soro his vivid card, just like Ace. Is that a foreshadowing that Sabo's gonna die too? Come on. It's just so awesome right now. But, um, and he leaves saying the exact same line as he said. A troublesome brother needs to take care of, and Soro smiles together with the other two. Oh yeah, and Usopp is also out, out cold. But one had to give praise here. I think another thing, while Zabu most likely forgot, I mean, while Sabu forgot his two brothers, it seems so likely that when he grew up he uh, instinctively remembered their uh, good sides, I wanna say. For, you know, he had a habit of, say, of say, mispronouncing names similar to Luthi, and his way of protecting uh, Luthi similar to Ez, uh, although that could just be because Ez is dead. A part of me actually thinks uh, uh, maybe 
maybe he when he even though he had not his memories he instinctively picked up his brother's habits either way he then connect, contacted uh, contacted Huck and said he was on although then shutting up then it appears though that the C we get a here from the CP0 apparently they somehow left the island but are now coming back to hunt for the revolutionary and then Sabo rides off on crows nonetheless and apparently one crow can talk is that a devil fruit user that can tame crows something I, I just wanna know more now about the power of the revolutionary is that a devil fruit user with a crow crow fruit or is that a beppo like animal either way we won't get a shot the next week but I still give praise for, for Uda for hanging out holding out this long I'm very happy Truly, this was an emotional chapter and a short flashback chapter. I mean, I want to know more about the revolutionary, but some tells me we won't find that out. Now that that's cleared up, though, can we switch to Sanji and Co. and finally hear if they're alive? Well, do give me your thoughts if you have any.